Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mom's Life Toy. I want to thank all you guys so, so much for being here with me today. Today is a collaboration with Brie, aka Creations by Brie. We decided, well, I asked her if she would love to be a part of a collaboration with me because I do absolutely love and adore her work and her as a person. So I just kind of wanted to listen to her videos and see what she's interested in and then kind of like see what she wouldn't mind, you know, like collaborating with me with. In the beginning, I was hoping like, you know, she'd be like, oh yeah, let's do this, let's do this. But she completely was like, no, whatever you want to do, I'm down. So I truly appreciated that. But I did remember in one of her videos, she mentioned that she wants to get more into nail art. So I was like, okay, let's just do a nail art collaboration. And then we end up deciding to do Disney. And so I've been loving Mickey Mouse since I was three years old. So I instantly was like, I'm going to do Mickey Mouse. So I let one of my kids pick out a picture for me to recreate because everyone in my house draws except for me and my youngest. I cannot draw if my life depended on it. So I just wanted him to challenge me just as well. And this is the picture that he chose right here. The fact that they were babies instead of like full-blown adults was going to make it challenging because their bodies are so much different. And if he would have chose like adults or just their faces, I feel like that would have been a little bit easier than trying to draw their whole little bitty bodies. But the picture was so freaking cute and adorable. I had to agree with it. Now, do not judge me whatsoever. Please don't judge me whatsoever. I can't draw. I cannot draw. This is my first time ever drawing on drawing any types of pictures, especially on nails. I draw stick figures with one of my kids. I don't I don't I don't do too much. This is not this is not the life I'm about. But the fact that Brie has done this a couple of other times and here are pictures of her work, I'm like, this is gonna be the challenge that I need to try to take my time and step my game up. And actually learn how to do nail art. So I feel like she is actually helping me go to this next level of designing nails. Because I'm able to do nail art now. Well, not do nail art. Practice more nail art. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Brie. I did want to let you guys know that she does do mystery boxes. So if you guys are interested, she does actually show her packaging the mystery boxes and also the extra little gifts that she throws in the boxes just as well her boxes are $25 for a small box $60 for a medium sized box if you do not want if you feel like the $25 is too small or the $60 is too big you can create or if the $60 is not big enough you can create a custom box and that starts at $30 also tomorrow today is Thursday you will be seeing this video Tomorrow, Friday, she will have her fall and new collection. Now, the full fall collection will be $60. It comes with 13 acrylics. And you also get extra items in there to like kind of create like a whole nail set. And she actually, she she's shown us the things that she bought. She bought some really great things to throw in that box just as long with, just along with the fall collection. She also has a new collection coming out also. It's eight acrylics and that is $35. Now, if you don't want to buy either one of those collections, you can get a $25 mystery box and some of the new colors that's coming out. She will throw those in there just as well. So you can try them out. And then, of course, if you love them, you can come back and buy the full collection or, you know, talk to her and see, OK, I got these. It's OK if I buy these, you know, see, I'm pretty sure we would do her best to work with you and make sure you're satisfied as a customer. And later on, which I am most excited about, is the fact that she is having a breast cancer awareness collection coming out. And um, I'm a huge, huge, huge supporter of breast cancer awareness. I'm going to make sure I get that collection. I'm not huge on buying almost nothing. But this collection right here, I'm definitely going to make sure. I asked my husband to buy this collection for me because that's something that's special to my heart. So I truly appreciate her taking the time to be aware of breast cancer awareness of course she's aware of it but you know like being like okay this is the collection i want to make sure i create acrylics for because this is something that every woman should be also men as far as i know the women should be most concerned about making sure your health is great and i'm so happy that she is going to create a collection for this and her support of women who has gone through it going through it and also 
show that we all need to get tested just as well, just to make sure we are good, healthy, and intact. So there is like an apricot color that I did use on Pluto and I used on the bibs of the other babies. That is something I would not recommend to no one because it is polishes that I bought in the beginning of my nail journey. They do not have ingredients on the back at all. And of course, at that time, I was not aware of any type of allergic reactions that you can get. So I would not recommend that because it is something that you will probably get a reaction to because you don't know fully what's inside of it as of right now i have not had a reaction to it but i'm also not putting this close to my skin either so and i haven't done it in a minute so i would not recommend it to anyone i also wanted to apologize for how long this video is i have not had a video this long ever so so hopefully you guys watch all the way through <laughs> if not then of course just uh fast forward to the end and see the outcome or you can just let it play in the background like you even got to fully watch because this is a lot of nail art and i do make mistakes and i am struggling juggling so i did want to show you guys please don't laugh at me do not laugh at me my first pluto oh my god jesus it is horrible Ooh, look at that thing oh my god you guys that thing came out horrible so i absolutely had to file that off like Oh my God, I was embarrassed to even show my kids, but I had to. And my youngest, he would make you live up on life. He saw it and he was just like, cringe. Like, and that's all he said, was just cringe. And then my second youngest, he was just like, oh, you know, keep, the one that picked the picture out. Just keep practicing, keep practicing. And um, in the morning, we'll see how it looks. And then my second oldest, he was like, yeah, just, uh, so let me see how I look in the morning. Let me see, because I, I do my nail sets at nighttime. And it was like 3 o'clock in the morning. And they were going to bed. And they were just like, oh, just, just show me in the morning. Show me in the morning. But then my oldest was like, how do you draw on something so small? And I'm like, how do you draw? And he was like, well, when I draw or what I see other people do just as well as they outline it first, color it in, and then outline it again. And so I was like, okay, let me, let me, let me just file this off and start over. And in the midst of me filing it off, my husband called me. And he was giving me encouraging words. And he was just like, you know, my husband can draw all... That's where the kids get get it from. Except the youngest, he gets the crap from me. So he was just like, you can do it. Just take your time. And my husband's going through stuff on his own. So for him to be able to put what he's going through aside and encourage me, uplift me to be like, you can do it. Don't give up. And I'm, I'm doing nails. Like, this is literally nothing compared to what he has on his head right now. So... I was like, okay, I'm going to take my time and I'm going to do it. It still didn't come out great because, like I said, this is my first time drawing anything. You can go back and look at my history doll and I'm like, no, I've struggled with snowflakes. So, and it's like just short. So I, I can't, I can't draw, but this is the beginning of something new that I'm going to do because from here on out, actually from here on out, from be a while, a set, oh my God, some sets ago, I said I was going to start doing things that I'm not good with, like Frenchies and, oh my God, and shaping and then practicing my bling placement so stuff like this i'm going to continue to do it's, it's hard but i'm going to continue to do it because you won't get better if you do not practice or try and you dang sure gonna fail if you continue to get if you give up and something i'm not is a failure i don't feel like anybody in this community is a failure because i see everybody always trying something new or up or like leveling up with their nail sets and their designs so failure is not an option at all in this community and you guys uplift me just as well because me doing collaborations with people allows me to know their type of work that they do and be like, all right, you can try it just as well. You've learned from them. You watch their videos. Do it now, you know. So you guys are freaking awesome. Everybody is freaking amazing. I love this community so much and I appreciate every single one of you guys. Now, I'm not going to talk through this whole video, even though I can. I promise you I can I don't feel real right now, so even, like, me talking right now, I gotta, like, take deep breaths and then get to being myself and then pause the video and then sit for a second. <laughs> so, I'm gonna let you guys listen, listen to some music, or you can fast forward if you haven't already. And I did speed through Minnie Mouse because it's on a dark background and you really can't see what I'm doing. So, and I think it's the color somewhere in here. If I, the color does not pop up or show up, it's because I don't recommend it. 
but you kind of get the gist of the shade, you know, if you, you know, look at it. But I want to thank you guys again. I will pop back in later, but as of right now, just listen to this weird music that I'm into. And thank you guys so much for being here.
Okay, I'm back. So here I always struggle with this solid gel and trying to create these letters to spell out Disney was a struggle duggle, of course. So what I ended up doing was this little, I don't know what you call this little thing. It's like a little palette though for your nail art. I kind of just like formed it, formed the, sh the letters on there. Then I flash cured it for like between like eight and like 13 seconds. And then it starts to kind of get a little bit hard and you're able to kind of like scrape it off. And then on my actual nail, I put top coat, a super thin layer of top coat. And then I put the letter on top of it and then I cured it in a lamp and it, it stuck there. So I did this for all of the rest of the letters. I just didn't allow you guys to see me struggling anymore. And then I will come back in and you will see me draw over, well, color paint over them with Born Pretty's um, Neon Garden Ice Jelly Collection, which I really love. I, I'm using that as much as I possibly can. So I hope you guys kind of saw what I did and I hope you guys like it. I think, I ain't no think, this is my family's favorite nail. The nail art, they were like, oh, you know, it's okay. You know, it's your first time. You got this. But this nail right here, they all really enjoy and they thought it was very creative.
it would not be a set of mine if I don't have just a little bit of bling on my nails. Just a little bit. Now, I did watch one of Sandra's sparkly sets. She did a Mickey Mouse design and... I love that set so so much and she did like these little make this little Mickey Mouse with the rhinestone so I got this idea from her thank you so much Sandra this is the final look I hope you guys enjoyed this set thank you again for being here with me today let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below like comment and subscribe I love you all and I'll see you guys in the next one darling like what you saw in today's video hit that subscribe button that like button comment down below and i'll see you in the next one bye darling